वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस बाय विजय कुमार सेठी क्लास ट्वेल्थ केमिस्ट्री वी विल स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वर्नर्स थ्योरी ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ डबल साल्ट एंड अ कॉम्प्लेक्स फर्स्ट व्हाट आर कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स complex compounds in which the metal atoms are bound to a number of anions or neutral molecules by sharing of electrons by forming coordinate bonds are called coordination compounds actually in these type of compounds these anions or neutral molecules which are known as ligands these ligands donate a pair of electron to these metal atoms form coordinate bonds is it clear and that's why these are known as coordination compounds these are the some examples k3 cr c2o4 thrice co cl2 e and twice cl co nh3 5 co3 cl in this chapter we will discuss the details of these compounds werner prepared many compounds by reacting cobalt thir cobalt third chloride with ammonia and these compounds were distinguished by their colors he added excess silver nitrate solution to the aqueous solution of these compounds and measured the amount of silver chloride precipitate and he also measured the conductivity of these solutions okay these are the results one mole cocl3 dot 6 ns3 which is yellow in color gave three mole of agcl One mole CoCl3 dot 5 NS3, which is purple in color, gave two mole AgCl. One mole of CoCl3 dot 4 NS3, which is green in color, gave one mole AgCl. One mole CoCl3 dot 4 NS3, which is violet in color, gave one mole of AgCl. These results can be explained. if we write the formula of these compounds like this in this case the species which are written in the square bracket will not dissociate okay and only these species which are outside the square bracket dissociate that's why when we add the silver nitrate solution to this compound we will get the precipitate of AgCl, which is equivalent to three mole, if we take the one mole of this compound, because these three chloride ions react with the AgNO3 and precipitate as AgCl. The same way, in this purple color compound, this part, which is in the square bracket, it will not dissociate. and these two chloride ions will dissociate into the water and when agno3 is added you will get the precipitate of 2 mole agcl in the same way in both compounds green and violet color which have the same formula okay same formula that's why we can say these are the isomers we will if we add the silver nitrate solution of one mole of these compounds then we will get the precipitate of one mole of agcl in both the cases now if conductivity is measured then for this yellow colored compound this conductivity is corresponds to 1 is to 3 electrolyte first what is the meaning of this 1 is to 3 electrolyte it means this gives one cation and three anion that's why this is 1 is to 3 electrolyte or we can see the conductivity is corresponds to total number of four ions in the same way in this purple color compound this conductivity is correspond to 1 is to 2 electrolyte it means total number of three ions for this green and violet color the conductivity corresponds to 1 is to 1 electrolyte means 
this corresponds to the two ions because this is one is cation and this is one is anion that's why this is called one is to one electrolyte okay on the basis of these results in observation Werner postulated some points and these were known as Werner's theory of coordination compounds according to this in coordination compounds metal shows two types of linkages that is valencies primary and secondary the primary valencies are normally ionizable and are satisfied by negative ions the secondary valencies are non ionizable these are satisfied by neutral molecules or negative ions the secondary valence is equal to the coordination number and is fixed for a metal the ions or groups bound by the secondary linkages to the metal have characteristic spatial that is in the space arrangements corresponding to different coordination number and generally these shapes will shown by the coordination compounds octahedral tetrahedral and square planar geometrical shapes are more common in coordination compounds of transition metals if coordination number is 6 coordination number means the number of surrounding species to the metal atoms okay if coordination number is 6 like this co ns363 plus co cl ns352 plus and co cl2 ns34 plus these are octahedral entities if coordination number 4 is there then nico4 this is tetrahedral and ptcl4 2 minus this is square planar okay these are the some points of werner's theory of coordination compounds take one example on the basis of the following observation made with aqua solutions assign secondary valencies to metals in the following compounds these are the formulas and moles of agcl precipitate per mole of the compound with excess agno3 for this this is 2 mole of agcl this is again 2 mole of agcl this is 0 mole of agcl this is 1 mole of agcl and this is in 0 mole of agcl we have to find out the secondary valencies according to the werner's theory we have discussed that secondary valencies are enclosed in the square bracket and these are not dissociate that's why this compound can be written like this you can see this is pd this is nh3 okay and these are four this is in square bracket and this give the precipitate of two mole of agcl that's why this is cl2 now we can say secondary valence is equal to this number of these species and that's why this is four secondary valence is four now in this case this this can be written like this this is ni h2o6 okay this is in square bracket and again this give the moles of agcl which is equal to 2 mole that's why this is again cl2 and that's why its secondary valence is equal to this one and its answer is 6 now this third one that is moles of agcl is 0 okay that's why this will be written as this is pt that is cl4 and this is dot and this is hcl is for two times no chloride ion is present outside the bracket okay and that's why the secondary valence is this is 4 plus 2 that is this is again 6 now fourth one this give the precipitate of one mole of agcl that's why you can write the formula of this compound like this that is co this is nh3 4 and out of these 
three CL, two CL are in square bracket and one is out of square bracket. And that's why secondary valence is this is four plus two, which is equal to six. Now for in this case, this is again moles of AgCl is zero. That's why we can say all the chloride ions and all NH3 molecules are in the square bracket and both are satisfying secondary valencies of metal atom and that's why we can say the secondary valency is this is 2 plus 2 that is equal to 4 is that clear shortcomings of Werner's theory this theory could not answer basic questions like why only certain elements possesses the remarkable property of forming coordination compounds? Why the bonds in coordination compounds have directional properties? Why coordination compounds have characteristic magnetic and optical properties? The answer of these questions could not find out with the help of Werner's theory. Is that clear? Difference between a double salt and a complex. We have discussed about this complex. Now, what is this double salt? Both double salts as well as complexes are formed by the combination of two or more stable compounds. Then, what are the difference? This side double salt, this side com complex or coordination compounds are the same thing. Double salts exist only in the solid state. In aqua solution, they dissociate completely into ions. While these complexes, they exist in the solid state as well as in aqua solution. This is because even in the solution, the complex ion does not dissociate into ions. The properties of the double salt are the same as those of its constituent compounds. The properties of the coordination compounds are different from its constituents. In the double salts, the metal ions show their normal valency. In a coordination compounds, metal ions satisfy its two types of valencies called primary and secondary valencies. A double salt loses its identity in the solution. A coordination compound retains its identity in its solution. And these are the some examples. Like this is carnelite, KCl, NgCl2, dot 6H2O. More salt, FeSO4, NH4 twice SO4, dot 6H2O. Potas alum, it is potassium, aluminium, sulfate, 12H2O. Okay, and these are the examples of complex or coordination compound K4, Fe, C, N6 and K3, Cr, C2O4, thrice. Now, suppose if we dissolve this potassium salt into the water, okay, potassium alum into the water, then in the water, this will dissociate to give potassium ion, aluminium ion, and sulfate ion. Is it clear? It is the double salt will dissociate into its constituent ions. But when we dissolve this K4 FeCN6 in the aqua solution, then this will give only K plus, and this is FeCN6, and this will carry that is four negative charge okay we are not able to find out the presence of fe2 plus ion and cn minus ion in the aqua solution of this k4 fe cn6 it's how we can see this part which is enclosed in the square bracket is not dissociate into ions okay that's why this coordination entity retain its identity in uh, in its solution as well as in solid state but when these double salts are dissolved in the water then they will dissociate into their constituent ions is that clear these are the differences between a double salt and a complex thank you subscribe my channel to get the next videos of this chapter